propped them up pretty high. Looks like a buck is out playing some frisbee golf. Oh god. And he puts his head down. Pretty impressive and I did a frisbee golf. <laughs> it's the only players you find out here. Alright, looks like a jackass farm. This deer has a big black nose. Look at how black that is. I think it's a white tail. There's so many deer families around here. There's a couple of big horned deer running around here. Those are two standing side by side. Wow. You know, as good as these white teal deer do out here, I can really imagine how good those buffalo did back in their day. All right, we got a llamas, jackasses, put up a tall net to keep the deer out.
deer. <laughs> People are living in all kinds of various structures from tents to greenhouses to nice nice houses. Not too often that I'd consider using uh, the, the uh, sprinkler system to fill up my bottle, but this is a city uh, that doesn't really have have any other other source. Look at that. I think it's made out of wood. A giant H with flames. It's kind of a neat logo. Kids have a trait of swearing at each other, using a lot of curse words. And I notice that with Mexican kids a lot. When they speak English, I understand what they're saying. But it might be an Indian trait. Alright, it looks like Hot Springs might have a bad mosquito problem. So, all the windows are going up and hopefully they'll all bounce harmlessly off the screen. I decided to park just a couple of blocks away. Uh, it looks safe enough. I just don't want to be here. That's the one thing cops have trained me to, to be aware of. Do not park at the library overnight. It's not so much even the cops get angry. Locals will get angry about it. I've had them call cops on me. This is like a permanent thing. Alright, so this is the historical site. Rose Mineral Plunge Daily. This is all boarded up over here. They got a Rose Mineral Open Daily. Well, it's not open at this time. Looks like they got some kind of a spring over there. Swim at own risk. <laughs> and I think this guy is following me. Just short of seven. Alright, I'm going to Camus, which is just a little uh, neighborhood of 10 houses. On the way though, there's supposed to be some kind of marking for a spring. It's got letters and numbers as identification. I don't think there's going to be any access. It's, what, $30 to live down there? in your RV God, I just hate dealing with those property owners The west part of North Dakota is definitely full of deer Well, there may be a spring out there, but I think it's all fenced off and un un inaccessible It's supposed to be over here somewhere. Yeah, right? Oh
I have it sitting in the, in the property turned over. Usually they're standing up on the four wheels. All right, so this all is a part of the park. I just don't know where that spring marker is. It's like, it's not anything significant. Storage. They really let the grass grow around here. I suspect this hotel is out of business and not being used. Wow. For rent. Oh, it's more apartment complexes. People would prefer to sleep in their vehicles or their, their RVs maybe. Because of that sign, I am not shopping here. <clears throat> Whatever. Certainly been noticing more teepees. Flathead raft. The flathead influence is putting up more teepees for display. You know, the only re way I could find people that would love each other so much is when they have all their needs met, when they have enough money to feel comfortable doing whatever they want. Because I find myself very uh, skeptical of people, and and uh, I feel I feel slighted. Like I got a, I got a, I got a chip on my shoulder, being poor. All right, I feel like you know that the things the, the things aren't fair. I think that happens a lot with a lot of other poor people, but it depends on the level of standard that you. Uh, can accept all right there's there's people who have accepted the lower standard of living but uh what well, the problem is they're for they're they're in they're in conflict with the cops who constantly berate them and and make them raise their sense of standards their standard of living because of uh housing issues not able to live outside and then there's laws against that raising your your living the living standard which puts you into conflict with with your own uh beliefs about about uh what what you need to survive I mean, when, when you're in conflict with with the those authorities and and the lawmakers about what what's needed to survive then yeah, you're, you're gonna face you're gonna face uh, conflicting um, issues within yourself about uh, about other people. You know, you may not like other people so much because they're they're enforcing these these higher standards of living on you.